We are on Hezbear number 8-5, where Gemara Brachos, Taf Yud, Dalit, Amit Beis, we're on the bottom, we're four lines off the bottom, with the word Im Kain. So Im Kain, if so, that what? That the story of Rabbi Chiyabar Ashi doesn't prove any connection between Rav and Rabbi Shua ben Korcha, then Ma, Mai, his Ate, to Rabbi Chiyabar Ashi. Then why? Does the story of Rabbi Chiyar Ba'ashi, why was it brought? What does it come to teach us? Why did Gemara even bother bringing it down? La'afuke miman da'amar. It comes to exclude the opinion. His story comes to exclude the opinion. Le'mishna ain't sarach levarich. That teaching Mishnah doesn't require Berchas HaTorah. There were those who thought that when you teach Mishnayas, you don't have to make the bracha of La'asot B'divrei Torah. Kamash Milan, from the story of Rav Chiyav Ashi, Ta'af Mishnah Nami Tzarech Levarech, that even Mishnayas requires the bracha of La'asok B'tivri Torah, as Rav had made Mevarech Umas Neilon Upirkan. When Rav would teach Mishnah, he would say, a bracha of La'asok B'tivri Torah. So that's why Rav Chiyav Ashi, that's what we learned from his story. Okay, so in the end of the day, we're still left with the question, why did Rav first say Shema and then put us to film? Mikol Malkam. And in the end, Kasha the Rav, we still have the question of Rav. Why did he say Shema and then put us to film? And the answer is, Shlucha Hu Da'avis. His messenger was late. It made a mistake. Let's look at Rashi. Rashi on the phrase, Shlucha Hi Da'avis that his messenger messed up, Hashliach Kakel. His Shliach made a mistake. He was late in bringing his Tefillin. Rav had sent a messenger to get his Tefillin, and the messenger was late. Mi'ikara, from the beginning. And the time for to recite the Shema he wanted to say the Shema before the time would elapse, would pass. And therefore, since the guy wasn't coming with tefillin, and the clock is ticking to recite the Shema, he recited, He saw that the Shliach was tefillin, right? Was late, and therefore he decided to say the Shema first, not to miss out on the mitzvah, of Zman Kriyachma, and then afterwards put on his tefillin. So that's why Rav first said Shema and then put on his tefillin. All because his FedEx messenger got stuck in traffic. Don't forget to do and summarize the Hezbeer in your own words.